Salutations and welcome to another episode of the Toyama Twin Tree Hobby Channel. And welcome to a new segment I like to call Hobby Head, where I think hard and loud about the hobby. In this video, I'll be having a look at the Wing Gundam Vercar and scrutinizing the images that they have released to see what awesome detail lies within. Now, we have been waiting for an update. We thought we got it in the form of the high resolution model. But here we get our master grade true incarnation of the Wing Gundam. I personally thought we were gonna get a 2.0, but after I saw the high resolution model, I actually gave up. However, Bandai seemed to want to do a big improvement, so here we have Verka. So let's dive in into the first picture here. And right off the bat, I have to say, it looks very Katoki. The OG Master Grade don't have this much decals that really pops out like Katoki's designs would. Right off the bat, what I see is extra panel lines. I notice it's a model kit, not CGI. Seeing it like this looks like it can stand on its own. The older Master Grade Wing Zero could stand on its own, but with the help of the two back wings, but in this picture, it looks like it could stand on its own. Looking closer at the wings, I notice there is a part that makes the wings sit higher. Now, I really wonder if this new kit can stand on its own. Because based on this picture, I think what's holding the kit up is the two long guns. And looking at this, uh, makes me think of it's using crutches, you know, to prop itself up. I do like the many color separation on this kit, much like the real grade. I notice here it has a much more thicker legs compared to the older Master Grade, which is funny because Katoki kits used to be about small head, big chest, long legs. But here, it looks like he's steering to a newer, thicker legs trend. Now let's have a look at the next picture. Next we see some nice feet articulation. For the toes to be able to point out that way really helps with the balance of a few new Gundams that I already have. Such as the Origin RX-78 II. And to see it in this kit will be a huge improvement for sure. And to see the Wing Zero doing a kneeling pose. You know, we love kits that can pose this way, don't we? And in this picture here, if we look at the back wings, when it opens up, it's more tiny feathers underneath those wings. And I don't really like this so much, because to me, that's where the thrusters used to be in the anime. And so I always think of it as when it opens that way, it's where the boosters would come, stick out for the wing zero. But then to replace it with feathers like that, I'm not so big of a fan. Looking at the fingers here, it looks like they are the swappable fingers, just like the other Master Grade wing kits. At least that's what I'm hoping they are. And to see the shifting armors on the knees, that is always something I love looking at Master Grade kits. And it's nice to see how they implemented a little bit more armor shifting as compared to the Master Grade, the older Master Grade. The older Master Grade armor sh shifts, but not as drastic as this, which is a nice touch. Enough to say that that's something new to the design. In this next picture, we have another familiar pose. And what I gather from this picture is that we are going to get a different action base with this kid. And not the same action base that came with the first Master Grade, Wing Zero which is still used in many different kits today and they could just recycle that but for them to give us a nicer action base yep good value there another little takeaway from this picture it shows that it can do what the older kit can do which sometimes some newer kits can do what the older kits can do so we're still on a good track here 
next picture we have the same beam saber from before with the little slight arch to it and based on the size of the beam effect part it shows that this Gundam is going to be the same size as the original Wing Zero as compared to the higher resolution model counterpart. The one thing I cannot tell about from these pictures is the wing tips, the edge of the feathers. The original Wing Zero uses rubber. I hope they stick with it because it makes it look a little bit more natural in my opinion. Next picture we have bird mode I'm sorry guys I'm not so big of a fan with this bird mode but at least we can say that it does what the high resolution model counterpart does and the same amount of playability in our next picture we can say that the final shot pose is doable which is compulsory because the real grade could do it and the previous master grade can do it so if you want to make something an improvement, it needs to do it. I am looking forward to seeing if the Buster Rifle actually clips to the chest like it did with the older one, or if it actually could just hold the Twin Buster Rifle up on its own. Guess we have to stay tuned to find out. Next we see the back of the Gundam, and it looks like there are more details on the back skirt here, which is a nice touch. And I hope underneath the back skirt is also some inner frame. Based on the grey parts that are sticking out, having a closer look at the back wing here, I am a little sad to say that that is the same seam line from the older Master Grade. But that can be easily fixed with the Mr. Cement, but all those decals there will pull your eyes away from that big seam line. However, looking at this little grey part here on both of the wings, Gives me a little theory. I'm guessing that it's a silver painted part, just like on recent uh, Katoki kits. And if that theory is true, then my guess it will be used at the feet, this back wing part, and underneath the clear colored jewel for reflection. Or it might just be a foil sticker. Our very next picture here is a close-up of the Wing Zero. And having a look at the emblem here, seeing how there are grey parts sticking through it, I hope there are inner frames underneath there. And over here, looking at this, makes me think there's inner frame underneath the ears too, which would be a nice touch. I noticed the top camera lens is not purple, but that's something that we can probably fix on our own. Looking at some of the crevices on the face, I notice they use some purple light lavender to panel line. And that is something that I actually use for my Wing Zero's wings. A little tip there, it really elevates the kit compared to using grey panel line for the wings. Now looking at the crevices on the arms, I notice there is some yellow to panel line. I do not know why they did this, but if you do, leave a comment below. That would be a big help for us all. Looking at the upper part of the chest, we see those fins like we do on the new Gundam, the high new Gundam, and the double Zeta Verka, which is a nice touch, something we get only with Katoki kids. Looking at the outer armor of this chest really shows that it has been redesigned. And if I look down here at the side skirt, there is inner frame for the lower side skirts jewel on the center of the chest looks more turquoise than green to me and we don't get any showcase at all about the Gatling guns on the top of the chest that is a very interesting open ear gimmick something that really differentiates this kit from the other uh, wing zero counterparts so if you see the ears open like this you know that is the wing zero Verka. Also too, remember that Wing Zero is a very small kit compared to other Master Grades, so seeing how intricate this kit is and seeing how there are many parts separation just makes me think that there's going to be a lot of tiny, tiny pieces to deal with. And looking at the V-fin on this guy, I noticed that the 
whole thing is one piece and not two pieces that you can put together and attach to the head. Which was what I was hoping for. It's just nicer to paint, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But the one thing that I hope that they do is that this V fin is taken from the Proto Zero Endless Waltz Edition. Because if it is the original Master Grade, then it is not a hollow hole for the camera lens there. And it would be a sticker that you put over it. And for me, I prefer if it was a clear part underneath it rather than just a solid that you put sticker on. Now let's have a look at some more bird mode. And judging from these two pictures, it looks like we can do two different variations of it. And I hope they give you that adapter piece that is provided with the wing Proto Zero Master Grade to hold it up in bird mode like this. The lower picture here looks like the original Wing Zero in atmosphere re-entry mode but with the shield and two rifles attached to its back. Which means we can do the atmosphere re-entry mode with this kit. However the mystery is if it is in atmosphere re-entry mode how does the adapter hold it up like that? That we'll have to find out. And now we look at the armaments. First we have the shield. And I am not a fan of the shield. Because to me, Wing Zero's wings are its shield. For it to be able to withstand atmosphere and re-entry, it should be able to withstand any, any high amount of hit wave or laser beam or bullet shells. Just like we saw in the Endless Waltz movie. But apart from that, looking at this shield, I think it's the same shield that we get with the Proto Zero, only painted in blue, the jewel has been changed to a different color, and the side vents here has been changed to some sort of air intake thingy. Would be interesting to see how the underside would look like. Underneath we look at the Buster Rifle. I noticed there's no seam lines, so it's not a long piece slapped together. So hopefully it solves the bending problem we get with the original Wing Zero. And in the next picture, it's a nice gimmick to see that they can fold and be stored under the wings. I noticed the clip under the wings don't seem to hide and it always sticks out like such. But being small, we might not be able to notice it. So after looking all these pictures and thinking out loud about its details and stuff, I don't think this kit will phase out the old original Master Grade Wing Zero. But it does update it. If you want an anime accurate one, you, you get the original Master Grade Wing Zero and there's nothing wrong with that kit. I recently built I recently built mine and I have no problems with it. But if you do want a little bit stylized, a little Katoki flavor drizzle onto the Wing Zero, here you have it. It's funny how they call this a Katoki kit, because to me the Wing Zero with the Angel Wings was designed by Katoki. So to me, that was the Katoki kit. I guess to officially put the Katoki name, this is what they came up with. I am happy we have this. I am happy we have an option to get a different flavor of the Wing Zero. But I'm not overly excited about this kit that I'm going to go out and get it during launch day. But I am glad we have this kit. And I do think it's nice. What about you? What are your thoughts? Do leave a comment below. I am interested to know what you guys think. Well, apart from that, what questions do I have left? Hmm. I am wondering what if there is anything new about the Falcons. How about the pilot figure? Is it any more detail? Does Hero Yui come in jeans here or does he have his shorts? What about the cockpit? Is there any other added detail to it? And also the beam saber, do they swing out or do they just sit and hang in there? And what about you guys too? Do tell me what you hope for in this kit in the comments below. And if you like more contents like this, do give this video a like or a subscribe. It's been a pleasure making this video for you guys. Keep things awesome, keep the hobby going, and keep the hobbyists alive. This is Toyama23 signing out.